one of the hardest hit areas is right where I'm standing at the Colony Park Mobile Home Village. Now, just to give you an idea of the damage, this is aluminum roofing. It blew off of this home over here with the blue tarp, which is a block away. This is one of two homes that the roof was blown off. Still waiting on confirmation from the CDC, waiting on those test results. The case of a 14-year-old girl from Mexico who recently visited Disney with her family, as well as several other places, according to health officials. The department ramping up its message to wash hands often and to stay home if you feel sick. Now, the CDC CDC's revisions recommend that schools stay open even if there are confirmed or suspected cases. Christine? Right, Jackie. This child has been found barely alive, as Jim Solomon just told us. He is in grave condition, taken to the hospital after a dive team found him in the backyard pool, not a retention pond. It was a pool in such bad condition, they could not tell if there was a child in the pool, so they had to bring in that dive team. This was about a 20-minute lapse after the grandmother that lives in the home says she saw the child last. So the state feels it has a handle on the spread of the swine flu, along with major shipments of Tamiflu here in Orange County. A state emergency response team is now in operation in all 67 counties in Florida. All state health officials say Florida is still open for business and are trying to quash any swine flu hysteria that may be out there. No word on what provoked the attack, but one woman was shot and the other beaten with a hammer. When police arrived here at 1565 Jason Street, they thought the estranged husband was still inside. But after bringing in the Orlando SWAT team, they found out that he was already gone. Now, police say initially the man showed up at his wife's home at 4 o'clock this morning and attacked them. But their conditions are unknown, Greg. Melissa, do you know if neighbors saw or heard anything from that home? No, but until they actually got inside the home, they decided to evacuate about a half dozen homes as a precaution. A renewed sense of enthusiasm and cooperation, according to the director of EcuSearch. We're here at the new command center off of Lee Vista Boulevard, just north of the airport. Now, Tim Miller told us a few minutes ago that until now, volunteers were scarce, but EcuSearch uh, is not giving up, and they feel that now that they have the sheriff's office full support and their resources that they will see hundreds more people get out here to help search for little Kaylee Anthony. The sheriff's office actually asked them to stay after they had decided to pack up and go. Now they have a more sophisticated mapping system and equipment. They expect a hundred more ATVs to be out here on Saturday and possibly up to a thousand people searching this weekend. They've received calls from all over the state from people who want to help out and they will be working late into the night. We want to bring closure to this entire community. This has hurt us all, not only this community, uh, everybody in the country and, and if something has happened, this little girl deserves that dignity of a place uh, where people can go visit and put flowers because I don't think she's got any flowers where she's at right now. It's been 11 weeks since Kaylee went missing. Miller says the chances of finding her are very slim, about 9% based on past recovery um, numbers. But he points out that the chances are 0% if we stand by and do nothing. Reporting on scene in Orange County, Melissa Crabtree, News 13. Uh, that's really not Daytona Beach or bust has a whole new meaning for Katie Bass. She's left scraped and bruised by her beachside near-death experience. I am amazed. I mean, this is the biggest miracle of my life. I'm so grateful that I'm alive. Bass and a friend were run over by a driver who was trying to park along the beach. The truck rolled over this high school junior's head and legs twice. I was in disbelief. I had no idea what was going on. Above the cars or behind your own vehicle, like Scott Peterson with Volusia County Beach Patrol says this environment can be distracting. I ever need to pay attention, be aware that there are people that may be down low on the ground, like in uh, lounge chairs or on, uh, on beach towels. Loose sand saved Bass's life as well as her friend who was also ran over. Mm -hmm, because she was laying sideways, so it rolled over like that. And, um, and it also ran over her back and her arm and part of her leg. Um, they're very lucky. 
Meanwhile, Beach Patrol wants to discourage spring breakers from cruising this sandy strip. Katie Bass is not pressing charges and is even going back to the beach just two days after the rollover. Reporting from Daytona Beach, Melissa Crabtree, News 13. This baby girl is coming home. That's according to Texas volunteer Kaki Shea. I feel Kaylee should be honored, whether it's in life or death. She should be honored. Shea spent hundreds of dollars out of her own pocket, took a week off work at her real estate business, and boarded two different flights out of Texas to find Kaylee Anthony. She plans to stay a week to help search the 18 miles of terrain near the airport. Meantime, Shea has printed out 8,000 volunteer forms in anticipation of a record-breaking search effort. As far as we know, in national history, that's probably the biggest foot search put on in one day. Texas EcuSearch will be expecting about 8,000 people searching for little Kaylee this weekend. They say they're coming from as far away as Puerto Rico, Salt Lake City, and even Baltimore. Here representing Baltimore, Betty O'Day, Sandra Sloan, and Sheila Kempton. I asked my girlfriends and said, come on with me. We're all grandmothers. We, you know, we're all mothers and just can't imagine what it would be like to have my baby out there gone. Months gone, but not forgotten. When these retirees heard about the new Kaylee search on Tuesday up in Maryland, by Thursday, they were landing at Orlando International Airport ready to go. Just have a really good feeling about this search on Saturday. Sandra Sloan says if Kaylee is out here, this is the week she's coming home. In Orange County, Melissa Crabtree, News 13.